everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day of the week for And today in this video, I'm going to talk about my top 10 favorite quesadillas. Now, for those who don't know this about me, quesadillas are one of my favorite things to eat. I make them all the time whenever I have leftovers of meat in my fridge and stuff, so then I don't waste any meat in my fridge. And there's, I just eat them almost all the time whenever I have chicken leftover, pork leftover, just whatever. So, or, so this is a good tip. If you guys want to start using up your leftovers, make them in... One second. Sorry, I, had some, I thought I had something on my face for a second. Anyway, um, so you can use it for like quesadillas and so, or something, then you don't waste your food. And quesadillas are a great way to use leftover meat. If you have any meat left over from the night before in your fridge, you definitely can do that. And I'm gonna get started. And what are your guys' favorite quesadillas? Comment down below. And I'm gonna get started. So number one in my list would be a chicken quesadilla. Yeah, this is pretty popular me, with, for me with leftover chicken in my fridge. If I have chicken sitting in my fridge, fridge um, the, from the night before, I will take some out in the morning and then use some of it and chop it up and put it in a quesadilla. Yeah, and I usually just put the chicken in cold because um, it's already going to be hot in the quesadilla because I use my air fryer. So I'll show you guys my air fryer. So this is my air fryer. I got this about, I think, a year or two ago for like Christmas. And I make all of my quesadillas in here here and that's how I like to do my quesadillas. I know a lot of people like to do it on like the stove but I like it in the air fryer because then I don't have to put like a, some kind of oil or butter in my pan and it doesn't really stick to the pan so this is what my air fryer looks like and I'm sorry if it's so noisy in the background. My washing machine is going so I hope you can still hear me over the washing machine. So this is what it looks like. Like so I don't know what the model is of this but I've had this air fryer for I think almost about three years now and it works really really good. So anyway back to my quesadillas. So I do love chicken quesadillas. Um, I like using like the chicken that's not that's pretty moist but not too dry dry but it's kind of I like using the juicy chicken. I know that sounds kind of weird sorry for quesadillas. I don't like using like the dry chicken that's soaked because I find that the quesadilla gets extremely soggy and soggy. So I always just use like the chicken that's not as soggy but still really good. Number two on my list has to be pork quesadillas. Now I love having pork in my quesadilla. I think it tastes really good. Good. So fun fact about me, I forgot to mention, I don't like putting spices on my chicken. They're going to really season, really any seasoning on my food because I think it tastes better without seasoning, seasoning but it kind of depends. And so I do like having pork in my quesadilla. Sorry about that. I think it's really good and I think it adds a nice taste to the quesadilla, which I really, really like. Number three on my list would have to be taco meat quesadilla. So my mom and I make really good taco meat, which we make out of ground beef, beef and taco seasoning. And I always love putting a quesadilla in it. And I love how it adds the, the flavoring from the seasoning of the taco meat adds a nice touch to my quesadilla. I think it tastes really, really yummy. And it just adds like that flavor that you, that you like throughout the quesadilla, which I really, really like. Like, and I really love that about making a quesadilla is just adding like um, a taco meat with a bit of seasoning. And I really like that. And the way I make my taco meat is I just cut the meat up, drain the, drain it out. And then I put the taco meat seasoning on top and it's really yummy. Yummy. And that's how I make my taco meat at home. Number five on my list would be spam and egg breakfast quesadilla. Now I love making spam and egg quesadillas. I make some for me and my mom. Not every morning, but this is just kind of a treat for us in the mornings. So if my mom, when my mom and I were quarantined at home during the COVID, I was making a lot of the Spam and egg quesadillas for me and her. Like I'd put spices in hers because she likes to have like jalapenos in hers sometimes. And I put, and I don't put mine with jalapenos. Oh, my stomach is strong, sorry. Um, and I just have mine plain. So what I do is I usually just add her favorite stuff and she'll put salsa in it because my mom loves spicy salsa. So, and she likes to have spicy foods in her 
breakfast quesadilla. And these are one of my favorite things to make for breakfast. I haven't made one in a while, so maybe later on in a few months I'll make make a spam and egg quesadilla. And it's one of my favorite things to eat. I remember for a while I was making spam and eggs, but I forgot that spam's not really good for you. So I got out of the habit of making it every day because it became kind of a habit. And I wanted to break that habit. Number six on my list should I be flaming yawn quesadilla. Now I noticed so that some people say flaming yawn is probably really difficult to have in a quesadilla because it um it's like a little too I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. It's a little too juicy and it gets hard to cut and stuff, and it might be a little hard to eat in the quesadilla. But I personally love having um, filet mignon in my quesadilla because I love the flavor you get throughout the entire quesadilla because it adds quite a lot of flavor, which I really, really like about it. Number seven on my list would have to be a turkey quesadilla. Now, a lot of people will probably say turkey is probably not the best thing to use in a quesadilla because it's too dry. I personally love having turkey and leftover turkey from Thanksgiving in a quesadilla because I think it tastes really, really nice and I could barely even tell if it's dry or not or not in the quesadilla, which I really, really like, like, because it adds, like, a nice touch, and I love the flavor to it. Number eight on my list has to be a cheese quesadilla. Now, fun fact, I hardly ever make cheese quesadillas. I usually just make a bunch of quesadillas with meat in them, in them and, um, I like cheese quesadillas. I normally, I used to use, like, a blended Mexican cheese, which is pretty yummy, but now I just you just grate my own cheese because I'm not a huge fan of the store bought grated cheeses you just get that are already grated. I personally prefer grating it myself because, in my opinion, I think it tastes so much better. But if you guys like package grated cheese, that's totally okay. I mean, I like I do like cheese quesadillas. I hardly ever make them though. But um, when I do, I always just grate my own cheese because I think it tastes so much better than the store bought grated cheese. Now, don't get me wrong. I love store, I do like some store-bought grated cheeses, like I will buy the brick of cheese, cheese, and I'll buy like grated mozzarella, um, packaged grated mozzarella for when I don't want to grate my own mozzarella cheese, cheese, but I just prefer grating it myself, because I like it. Number nine on my list has to be carne asada quesadilla. Now, I love carne asada quesadillas. I think they're so incredibly good. I love the flavoring you get with the Mexican spices through it. And it's not too spicy, which I like. I don't really like overly spicy stuff because I'm very sensitive when it comes to spicy foods. Foods, but I love the taste of carne asada in a quesadilla. I think it tastes so good. Number 10 on my list had to be a beef quesadilla. Now, I love beef quesadillas, depending if the beef's not too soggy. I really like um, just how they taste, and I love how they add a lot of flavor throughout the, um, pro pro throughout the entire product, and I really, really like that about quesadillas, is I love the flavoring you get throughout the entire quesadilla, just from the juice you get in the beef, which is really, really yummy. Yummy, and I just love um, the flavoring ring, which is really good. And I think it adds a nice touch to the quesadilla. Okay, so those are my top 10 quesadillas. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day of the week for a while, and I'll see you in the video soon. Bye.